Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Monday, back from the National, my little uh, mini vacay in Cooperstown, back in the saddle this week, full week with me. Thanks for joining us. We're going to start off this Monday with Panini, Legacy, Football, four box, pick your team number eight. Remember we popped open a fresh case in break number six, or a break number seven that is. So seven through 12 will all be from the same case. And if you follow the instructions right here, you got a chance to add some break credit. Big thanks to, nobody? I should turn on my camera. There we go, big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to Nick for uh, picking up the Falcons, last spot mojo. So thanks everybody for making this happen, for getting in, appreciate it. It's August, a new month, so we're going with a serif font. Next month will be We'll go. We'll switch back to a sans serif. If you're into uh, typography, we'd be happy to know that we pay attention to those details, or at least I do. I don't think anyone else does. All right. So uh, while well, I'm ripping open these packs, and any any NFL news? Well, why don't you tell me the NFL news, ladies and gentlemen? Tell me what you're, you know, tell me what team you're a fan of, the team that you support in the NFL and tell me uh, an interesting, give me a sentence or two on an interesting tidbit from training camp. I guess for my Raiders, coach, uh, new coach Josh McDaniel saying there's no desire to trade Josh Jacobs. There's a lot of speculation that he was, that he started that Hall of Fame game just to, uh, you know, to almost be showcased for a possible trade. But no, I think uh, McDaniels was saying, hey, you know what? We like having our running backs get a little bit of contact, you know, because you can't really replicate that in practice. So just to kind of kind of get the juices going. I don't think Josh Jacobs really played a lot of snaps, nor did any of the other running backs. But Raiders running back situation kind of looks nice. If Josh Jacobs feels revitalized, if that Georgia running back, Zamir White looked pretty good at times. They have Amir Abdullah, Kenyon Drake. They, they, got, they got a decent running back room there, so we'll see what happens. The offensive line, I think, is something that's going to... But Derek Carr can get the ball out pretty quick, and he's got a lot of weapons to throw to, so my, my, my hope is that maybe they can neutralize some of the, the weaknesses in the offensive line. I mean, I, the Bengals' offensive line wasn't very good last year, and they got to the Super Bowl, so... Yeah, Ed, Eddie likes the Raiders too. As a fellow diehard silver and black fan, wouldn't probably have gone over too well if he said, yeah, we're desperately trying to move Josh Jacob. I think he'll be effective. He'll be fine. I think I think he, he's probably got a chip on his shoulder because his fifth-year option wasn't picked up. So I, I don't mind, you know, if he, if, he, if he shows out this year. I'm okay with that. A little motivation. He doesn't seem like he's complaining. You know, he's just going to work hard, and hey, you know, he's good enough. I'd be happy for the Raiders to re-sign him. There's Desmond Ritter. Yeah, nor should you be, Terry. You shouldn't be ashamed for your fandom, for your team. I'm not. I'm unabashed Raiders fan. Uh, there's Matt Ryan, Colts edition, still in his Falcons jersey though, and here's Kenny Pickett, that will be for the Steelers. We got a little mini Sam Howell to 125. So we'll go. Obviously, these will go to the team they're currently on. Our shipping team will will look up all that and sort that out properly. Charles Woodson, there he is. That's to 125. Who's got my Raiders? That will be for Michael. Michael Colucci with my Raiders. And we should be expecting two autographs per box on average. So that's what that's what we're looking for. Ooh, that's nice, Eddie. 
Eddie's saying, I currently have the 2016 NT Logo Shield Auto Derek Carr. Sorry. Minimize all my windows. There we go. So, yeah. <laughs> so, you're, you're definitely looking for a huge year for him. That's his rookie year. That's awesome. How did you come across that? Did, did you get it in a group break? Did you buy a box yourself? Did you buy it? Did you buy it from someone? It's Patrick Mahomes at two ninety nine. Chiefs, Jack, for the Chiefs. Yeah, would love would love to see uh, would love to see Derek Carr a private purchase. Nice, that's awesome, Eddie. Well, hey. Just for your, for your, not only for your fandom, but just for the hobby. I hope, I hope he has a, a MVP caliber season. Here's Pierre Strong Jr. Rookie autograph for the Patriots. That's going to be for Nestor. Yeah, Terry saying car, Derek Carr cards, criminally undervalued. 31 out of 149. And that, that might change this year. I mean, at the very least, let's just hope for a healthy season for everybody, and a drama-free season would be nice too. We got Mark Andrews to 150 for the Ravens. That'll be for Michael and the Purple Birds. And we got a Jalen Tolbert rookie autograph for the Dallas Cowboys. Nestor with the boys. I think he, he might get some, uh, could be an interesting part of that Cowboys team. Yeah, I think, uh, I think almost every, every AFC West divisional game has got to be like must-see TV, right? In fact, anyone, anyone pick up NFL Plus? And if so, what are your impressions of it? The Raiders are, uh, although there's still a lot of fans of the Raiders in Los Angeles, the Raiders are technically an out-of-market team. So I should be able to get all those uh, all those games. They're not always on on uh, on TV. So I'm I th I'm thinking of pulling the trigger on on an NFL Plus. <laughs> Yet another streaming service for me, but yeah, I think I'm going to pull the trigger on it. Yeah, Eddie, those the. I mean, I like it though. I like. I want to see a. I want to see those, those six early games. Eddie's saying first Raiders first uh, six games are going to be uh, kind of brutal, but that is a really good test to start off the season. I'd rather have, I'd rather have that than the Raiders have an easy schedule. And then get punched in the mouth later by a tougher team. I'd, I'd rather see the tough teams now. Let's do it. You know, and then you can then you then you can. I think it's easier to readjust from there. The rest of the season, Raiders open the season here in LA against the Chargers, which will kind of be a home game for the Raiders. That should be a great game. And they're hosting the Cardinals. That's another tough team. The Cardinals in Vegas. Then they go on the road to Tennessee. That's a tough team. Healthy Derrick Henry. Then they host Denver. Then they're one, two, three, four, four, five. And then they're at Kansas City. Then they host Houston at New Orleans. I think it gets a little bit easier. Hosting Houston at Saints, at Jags. But yeah, that's that's a that's a tough challenge. You know, so I'd love to see uh, if Raider, if Raiders can get out of there three and two, I'd be pretty happy. I don't think you know. I even think two and three wouldn't be the end of the end, end of the end of the end of the world either, especially if they're playing competitively. So for my Raiders, offensive line is going to be a big issue, and let's see how the defense shapes up. 
new defensive coordinator and all that. We got a mini uh, Zach Wilson. I'd love to see him take the next step this season. Jets could be a nice sleeper team this year. And there's Robert Quinn for the Bears. 14 out of 15. Nice low number for EA and Chicago. Rooting for Justin Fields. That would be hashtag good for the hobby if he does well. There is Jahan Dotson. 74 out of 149. Don't the Washington Commanders have another Dotson on their team? Two Dotsons? That'll be for Patrick in Washington. He's Eli Manning to 125. Justin, what up, man? Mills is having a good camp. Yeah, I'd like to see Davis Mills do well, just not against my Raiders in like week five. But he could be a, a, a nice little sleeper right there too. Although he was playing pretty well. That's still Chiefs edition of Tyreek Hill. I think he had some really nice games down the stretch last season. Yeah, could the Texans be a sleeper team? AFC South isn't too scary, right? How scary is the AFC South? Outside of You know, I mean, our Colts could be, I guess, with Matt Ryan. That'll be the interesting, and hopefully he does well, Jonathan Taylor. Yeah. You know, the, the Colts were, I mean, they were in a, a win and in situation pretty much the last few games of the season, and then they just did not play well. And, uh, and really, it, I think it was the quarterback play, so... There's the 299. Uh, Kyle Hamilton for the Ravens. That'll be for Michael. So I wonder if they had a if they had a Matt Ryan last year, might be a little different. There's Javante Williams, 25 for my rivals, the Broncos. That's going to go to Matt Arnold. There's some great divisional battles between the Raiders and the AFC West. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what my read on the Titans are. I mean Justin's saying they're kind of a one trick pony. And a lot of it does ride on a lot of it does ride on uh, the shoulders of Derrick Henry. And they lost AJ Brown as well, right? Or they, they, they traded him on draft night, so So what are we looking at here? They got I guess they got Robert Woods. Austin Hooper, Traylon Burks, Nick Westbrook, Akine. So I'm not sure. They're, they're wide receiving. It's basically Robert Woods, right? i got to hope that guys like Des Fitzpatrick or something like that kind of steps up, takes it to the next level. But who's Ryan going to throw it to? I guess Derrick Henry will always keep defenses honest, so. Got a solid defense, though. I'm not sure. Maybe they'll just have to grind out some wins. And rely on some of those younger receivers to really step up. Yeah, that Colts team's interesting, too. Right, let's go to the Colts' depth chart. Yeah, Matt Ryan, Jonathan Taylor, Michael Pittman Jr., They got a good running back room too. Jonathan Taylor, Neam Hines, Philip Lindsay, Tyson Williams, Michael Pittman, Paris Campbell, Kiki Kutis. Kind of, he, he can kind of stretch out the field a little bit too. Ooh, this feels heavier. Thicker card in here. Now, so they got a pretty solid team. Great defense too. DeForest Buckner, Quiddy Pay, Yannick Ngakwe. 
Shaq Leonard, you know. Etc. Etc. All right, next box. Russell Wilson will be interesting to see how he does. There's JJ Watt to 125, turned down for Watt. That is still, that's Texans edition there. Got Garrett Wilson to 150. Let's see how he does for the Jets. I kind of like that. I don't know, it's, you know, just because they're underdogs too, but I kind of like that Jets team. Right? If Zach Wilson kind of takes it to the next level, they got Brees Hall, Michael Carter, Tevin Coleman in the backfield, Elijah Moore, Corey Davis, Garrett Wilson, Braxton Berrios, Denzel Mims. That's a pretty good wide receiver room, too. I really thought Corey Davis, and maybe this was just a product of new coaching staff and rookie quarterback, but and there's Kayvon Thibodeau. To 50. I really thought that the uh, I really thought that I had Corey Davis on my fantasy team, like as a wide receiver three, two or three. I really thought he was going to have a nice season, but maybe I was a year too early. What's up, Michael? Yeah, I'm rooting for the day. I'm rooting for Zach Wilson. You know that him playing well would be hashtag good for the hobby. Just Kenny Pickett's 299. They've got a decent defense too, don't don't they? You know, and Salah is a defensive-minded coach, so that's got to that's got to look better. We've got a little mini Kyler Murray. And there's Jahan Dotson for Patrick. Two out of 99. Rookie autograph. What up, Doc? Terry's placing a bet that Brady snaps his leg in game one. Yeah, Tom Brady, for the most part, has been pretty lucky with, with avoiding like a major injury throughout his career. I know, am I talking myself into the over? I don't know what the Jets' win total is. Let's see, according to the Action Network, updated, uh, or this, these are lines via DraftKings, updated four days ago. The Jets are five and a half. Coyle, what's going on? We saw we saw Eric at the national. Had a had some gifted us some refreshing drinks at his uh, daiquiri spot. Two forty five out of two forty nine. Dual relic and autograph. Rashad White. Let's see where Rashad White goes. Yeah, they're 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 pretty refreshing. I'm usually not a daiquiri guy, but on a on a on a sort of a warm, humid Atlantic City night, it was pretty nice. Uh, Rashad White is a Buccaneer. This is the right, correct, Rashad White. Yes, third round pick, running back. So that will be for Jack T and the Bucks. I like that little, little texture right there as well. David Montgomery to 100, Sam Howell to 199, and uh, Kyle Hamilton to 199. Plus 4,000 for the Jets to win it all. Adam sees plus 1,300. Yeah, maybe shop around for some better lines. Plus seven seventy five hundred to win the AFC. Is it plus four thousand to win the division? Maybe. Three, 
There's a uh, Matt Coral to 75. Cortland Sutton to 199. Oh, you were just guessing. Yeah, current Super Bowl odds. Yeah, the Jets are pretty much floating around the plus 1300 to plus so 130 to 1 or 150 to 1 around there hovering in that in that range. All right, final box coming up. Their Jets are odds wise Jets are just ahead of the Seahawks, Falcons and Texans. Uh, your odds on favorite are the Buffalo Bills. So it looks like uh, looks like DraftKings has them at plus six hundred. Yeah, it's six to one. BetMGM six to one. FanDuel six fifty plus six fifty. Michael thinks it's good for a hundred dollar bet. It's going to happen eventually, right? Yeah, why not? At those odds. It would take a it would take a while before uh, before you start losing money. You just have to hit once. Current NFL futures odds uh, again: Bills are on top, followed by the Buccaneers, Chiefs, Packers, Rams, Chargers, Niners, Broncos, Cowboys, Ravens, Bengals. Kind of kind of rounds out that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About about top eleven right there. Where are my Raiders? Raiders are nope. Colts, Browns, Eagles, Cardinals, Titans, Vikings, and then Raiders. Raiders are plus four thousand forty to one. That's actually yeah. That is actually not a bad sleeper sleeper spot right there. They were a goal line interception away from being the Bengals last year. Maybe it could have been the Raiders being the Cinderella story last year. Yeah, the Raiders really don't get that pundit Vegas love. They, on a weekly basis, though, I think they're pretty. Uh, I think they're a pretty public team. They were indeed. They could, if Derek Carr didn't throw that interception, that would have been a touchdown. They would have. They they could have been the Cinderella story instead of the Bengals. There's to one ninety nine. Drew Pearson to one hundred. Carson Strong. So you're welcome, Bengals. You guys got lucky. Here's the 50. Kenny Pickett. Matt Stafford, Kurt Warner, Rams to 50, Generations, Duel. John Mechie to 149. Chad Dawes, Seahawks. Chad, are you going to put any money on the Seahawks to win the Super Bowl? They are 150 to 1. You can get them as, as good as 150 to 1. Derek Carr to 199. I'm not. I mean, the Raiders hate would never end, Chad. How come you can't acknowledge that the Raiders, that the Raiders took it right to the uh, right to the end with the Bengals? Obviously, the Bengals did a great job. The better team won, but you got to give the Raiders some credit. I see zero credit being given to the Raiders, especially with the turbulent season they had. There's Wandale Robinson.
96 out of 249 on Dale Robinson. And he is a wide receiver for the New York Football Giants. Big blue, the G-Men. This is big crossroads for the New York Football Giants. Apparently, according to a Giants blog, Wando Robinson impressing in Giants training camp. So big season, big crossroad seasons potentially. Daniel Jones really has to take it to the next level if, if, uh, if they are to succeed. Terry's saying, yeah, Bengals are going to get a first place schedule this year, so they got to see how legit they are or aren't. I mean, for the hobby. I mean, they did all the right things in the off season too. I mean, they're 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 you know the big uh, the big thing obviously was their offensive line. And I think I feel like a lot of those issues were ad were addressed. So everything else is just. It's just health, just the usual things. Health, execution. It could be another nice season for them. There's Drake London under the lights gold ink autograph. I don't know if that was a mistake or not. I think we saw one with red ink. Maybe these are very, a short print within a short print. Or maybe all the out of tens are in gold ink. I don't know. Either way, there's Drake London. Why am I blanking on? We pulled a nice Drake London yesterday. Falcons, that's right. Nice. Nick T, last spot mojo, gets the last autograph. Drake London, former uh, USC guy. So 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Uh, Chad saying Drew Locke went 12 for 12 in their, in their uh, what, mock game, the sim game? Oh, Lock it up. Chad, Seahawks Super Bowl. No, yeah. I, Chad saying, think the Seahawks will go over on the win total, which I think DraftKings has at five and a half. Like over on the win total, but yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I think Super Bowl is going to be a long shot for them. All right, let's give away some money, ladies and gentlemen. So if you follow the instructions in the item description, let's flip back there really quick. Um, if you bought at least two teams, you'll get one entry. Four teams, two entries so on and so forth. Basically, if you buy an even number of teams, half of those become entries, then we randomize those entries. Top two get $125 of break credit each. So good luck. Aaron bought two teams, that's an entry. EA bought two, that's an entry. Jack bought four, that's two entries. Matt Arnold got two, that's an entry. Michael got four, that's two entries. Nestor got six, that's three entries. And Nick, got four, that last spot mojo team giving you that extra entry, Nick. So Nick with four, that's two entries. Patrick with four, that's two entries. And then the last two were just one each. Okay. Let me just spot check these to make sure I got everybody. Aaron, EA, Jack, not Jerry. Yes, Matt. Yes, Michael, Nestor, Nick, Patrick. All right, so two out of these 14 spots are uh, gonna get some break credit. So let's roll it and randomize it. Top two after two, snake eyes, really easy. Good luck, fingers crossed. One and two. It's Jack and Nick. Congrats, $125 of break credit going your way. Same promo applies in the next uh, the next legacy break. So let's make that happen, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, I'll see you next time for the next break, bye-bye.